Hi and welcome, my name is Nicola and we're about to get really creative. Hi and welcome to another episode. So today, I'm pretty excited, I'm doing a February plan with me today and I decided that I wanted to use watercolour in my notebook and there were so many mistakes I made. I feel like such a silly sausage. So there were mistakes like counting out too many boxes, there was page leak, there was, I put the wrong month in the wrong journal because I've got a couple of journals, right? And um, yeah, it essentially was a diabolical mess. So in saying that, if you'd like to see the diabolical mess that was my plan with me for this month, um, feel free to enjoy. This is obviously, you know, it sounds so ridiculous, but if you make a mistake in your journal, it's really not the end of the world. It doesn't have to be artsy. It doesn't have to be crafty. It's just the way that I personally like having my journals. And it's totally up to you as to how you would like yours to be represented. And when you make a mistake, it doesn't matter at all if you have a just wabasabi. Take pleasure in imperfection. So I'm going to take pleasure in all of February's imperfection as it stands. Um, you'll see I have got things like cover pages, which I messed up halfway through. I have got, um, I made Dutch doors and halfway through making the Dutch doors, I accidentally sliced off the tab of the one Dutch door. Whoops. I put, I, I don't know, it was all over the shop. But in saying that, super happy with how it turned out. I'm not super sad about it. I'm really excited to use it for this month. It's got lots of bright color. And you know what? Sometimes it's not perfect and that's totally okay. So let's get started. If this is your first time here, hi, uh, Nicola. And pop the subscribe button down below. Obviously, I'd love for you to subscribe. If not, not a big deal. We, no judgment here. You can move right along. It's all good, no worries. Welcome, welcome, don't welcome, what is? Watch for stalking purposes. Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> um, let's get let's get straight into it. Okay, the first thing we're going to start off with is mapping out what we need in my Archer and Olive notebook. Once I've mapped it out, I'm going to use some washi tape to make a border around my cover page. This is pretty straightforward to do, and you just need to make sure that it's really stuck down well. I'm now going to take some of my watercolor paint and I'm going to create what I feel is a rainbow effect starting with yellow all the way through to green. I'm not purposefully trying to make it look like a sunset or anything like that. I'm just kind of going with a fun rainbowy feel. Now you'll see mistake number one crop up the bottom where I have some cut out hearts at the bottom. Not what I was intending to do, so I'm going to cover those up with some beautiful die cut flowers from Rosie's Studio. Once those are stuck in, I'm just going to give my cover page a little bit of a border. I've very simply added February just with a brush pen to the front. On to my next critical mistake. So now we're going to make a gratitude kind of radiating, really fun kind of sundial for gratitude. I'm going to divide it up because there are uh, 29 days in February, not a nice even 28, which I usually love. It makes it a little bit tricky to divide up the compass. And once that is done, I'm going to paint through another rainbow just to make sure we have a really lovely rainbow ready to go on the page. Yeah. 
and now you're gonna see the first of my mistakes on this page so what I've done here is I am not putting the lines all the way through to the end I'm only starting at the radius of the circle or the the kind of outer of the circle and um, that is obviously putting them off center and there it's also putting them off uh, measurements which means that the spaces for me to write on are uneven totally okay however not a big deal we ended up putting all 29 days in and then I added a little sticker and just a gratitude word to add in you'll see in the next clip here though my third stuff up for the day um, was when I wrote gratitude wrote it a little too big so I had to rewrite it a little smaller to stick onto my page What are we on now? Mistake number four, I'm starting to lose count. So I wanted to put a quote on this page and I used some watercolor instead of my Tombow markers to create a rainbow effect, much like the rest of my February theme. I was hoping to create this rainbow effect, but as I started painting over my black brush pen, the paint started mixing together and feathering together and obviously became really smudged and blurry. Not ideal. And finally on to a week spread that worked. Thank the heavens. Here what I'm starting with is I'm starting with a blank page and I'm using my Happy Planner Punch to punch out days of the week. So I'm just punching out six so that I can stick it into my planner. Again, I've used washi tape to kind of mark the borders and I'm going to use some really wet watercolor paint to create kind of like a purpley, pinky, orangey, kind of sunsetty feel. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint one layer and then I dry it or let it dry and then I paint over it again. And it creates this really beautiful layered effect, which I've absolutely fallen in love with and it's really simple to do it's not rocket science you're literally just going over the same spot from dry to wet and you just keep going all the way down to the bottom once you get down to the bottom and you've dried your page properly use it to create use the exact same technique to create some mountains let them dry and then again put the paint directly over it so you're putting wet paint on dry this is ironically is called wet on dry Keep going until you have a beautiful kind of mountain range ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some color to the days of the week. And to do this, I'm just adding some splotches over the top and then I will dry them and they'll be in the same kind of color vibe or color scheme as my background that I've just painted. Here I'm going to use my Tombow Fudunosuke and I'm just creating days of the week. Um, really simply, I'm just creating Monday through to weekend and I'm going to cut these out and use them as labels on the little blocks that we cut out or punched out earlier. Okay, let's remove all the washi tape that we've currently put in because our picture should be dry. And once that is all removed, we can now go right ahead and fix in the little squares that we've pre-painted.
To stick them in, I am just using some double-sided tape, some clear double-sided tape, just to make it a little simpler um, rather than sticky glue. And yeah, just sticking them in and putting their little labels on and we're good to go. Onto my habit tracker and event tracker for the month, as well as my priority list. Um, now, this is a fun list, and again, I kind of messed it up a little bit. I used a little bit too much watercolor, and I also didn't do the lines quite right, which is totally fine again. I'll still use it, and there won't be anything wrong with me using it. What you'll see in here is I am just dividing it up to have my 29 days. I'm then using some Happy Planner stickers for my habits that I'm going to be tracking this month. I'm going to stick the four in and just put them in a really nice spot so that I can tick them off as I go. Right, here is where I went a little wrong. I started adding my watercolor and then realized halfway through that maybe I had had added a little bit too much and also I added it in the wrong order. So it should be Roigi Biv, it's not Roigi Biv, they're all leaking together, it's now making brown and it doesn't look as vibrant and fun as the previous page. But you know what, I still love it because I love a good rainbow and I love colors blending together. I'm now going to use my pen just to go over the lines for my date and habit and priority tracker and then we're going to get started on the next page. Honestly, I have lost track of how many mistakes at this point. I don't know if it was because I was feeling stressed or right. I don't even know, but I can't tell you what I was thinking when I decided to make seven by seven squares. There are not seven weeks in February, so why I would go seven by seven, I have no idea at all, and it would have been far, the boxes would have been far, far, far bigger don't know what was going on but anyway we will roll with it I ended up doing all a seven by seven and what I did to cover them up is I ended up using a couple of die cuts you'll see me filling up the bottom spaces with die cuts a little bit later in the video and for the time being though you'll see me coloring this in with um, paint just to kind of you know add to that watercolor feel that we're doing for the month
Now on to one of my last failures, uh, let's call it the penultimate failure, is my Dutch doors. I've created here just a basic uh, template as to where I want my Dutch doors and I am then using my tab punch and cutter from We Are Memory Keepers to make the tabs on the pages so that I can um, kind of create the little tabs. Now the first mistake on doing this is I punched it too far down, forgetting that it punches in the opposite direction, and now I have two holes that I could do nothing with. So I went a little bit further up and did it again, and then trimmed it uh, as needed. Now what I would need to do is flip my book over and then punch the other side so that the rounded edge goes opposite to the way that I would like it to be. Now that we have all the tabs in place, I'm going to use my Rosie Studio stickers and I'm going to stick in the little colourful tabs that they have that match the theme that I'm kind of going for at the moment. You, you will notice that I'm now missing a tab, the one that I cut off, oopsies. And these little tabs are just the perfect size for the small tab from the We Are Memory Keepers. I'm now creating my master to-do list and this one went pretty event free. I'm just going to create a rainbow to-do list and I'm going to use my washi tape and run it in a rainbow pattern up the side and then just trim it down. Keeping it very simple but it really makes a fun and creative page. For this mistake, I forgot to film the rest of the spread. Um, I don't know if my battery died, I can't even remember what happened, but in summary, I stuck in this cute little square and I put in a perpetual calendar, I added some days of the week, and then I went through and added some watercolor down the side and made a really, really simple weekly spread with die cuts. Now, you would have seen all of that if I was paying attention for some reason and had captured all of that on video. However, I did not. So my apologies and we'll have to see the end result.
And finally, onto my last mistake, I put this entire set of spreads in the wrong journal. So I have ripped them all out and I have placed them in the correct journal with some washi tape and just making sure that they fit really nicely. Um, it was really simple just to take them out of the seams and make sure that they went in smoothly. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and feel free to find us all over the interwebs. You can find us at www.myannacreative.com. We would love to see you on Instagram, so come and find us there. Speak soon.